Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the recording modes or the punching in modes in Reaper. I have a project set up here where I want to record some guitar. I have the guitar track set up. Let's change the input to where my guitar is plugged in on my interface. I'm going to turn on monitoring, but I'm going to use monitor input tape auto style. This is the monitoring I prefer when I'm punching in because it allows us to only hear the guitar or our input when we punch in. When we punch out, we only hear the track not our input. So I'll choose this, put the track into record. Let's give it a shot. And now let's say I want to punch in and fix some of the chords. Maybe the second chord right here. There's a few different ways of doing it. The first way is we could punch in with the record button right over here in the transport. We could also do it with a keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's Control R, and on Mac, it's Command R. Or we could do it in the Actions menu. Let's search it right here. And we could add our own keyboard shortcut or even use a MIDI controller or a MIDI pedal. Just hit it and it'll show up right here. But in this video, we'll just do it by clicking the record button. I'll hit it once to punch in here and hit it again to punch out over here. Let's give it a shot. And so I punched in just for the second chord, and I punched out afterwards. As you can see by default, when we punch in, Reaper creates takes. So we could choose between the first performance and the fixed one, either by clicking them or hitting the T key on your keyboard to switch back and forth. And we're only going to hear one at a time, but when we picked the best one, we could just select them all. Right click, go to take, and choose crop to active take, which we could also trigger with the keystroke. On PC, Alt Shift T, and on Mac, Option Shift and T. And that's going to delete the unwanted take and just leave us with the good one. But let's say we don't want takes, we just want to replace it. Well, we can do that too. Go to the Options menu right here, under New Recording that overlaps existing items, and switch the mode over here from Splits Existing Items and Creates New Takes, which is the default, to Trims Existing Items Behind New Recording, or Tape Mode. And if we choose this, it's not going to create takes when we punch in. Let's see. So with this mode, it just punched in, but it didn't create takes. It just replaced what was there. But let's say we don't have a hands-free to punch in. We could have Reaper do it automatically with a different mode. Let's undo this. And let's go to the Options menu and switch it from Record Mode Normal to Record Mode Time Selection Auto Punch. And we could also switch it down over here by right clicking the record button. And we can see the different modes right here normal, time selection, auto punch. And it also changes the record button. It looks like this in normal mode. And it looks like this in time selection, auto punch. So let's create a time selection where we want to punch in and punch out. Right over here, just on that second chord. And now if we go into record, it's not going to start recording or it's not going to punch in until here. And then it'll punch out over here. Watch.
and it did that punch automatically, which is very useful if your hands aren't free to punch in. And as you can see, it didn't create more takes, but we could switch it back over here to the default, which is going to create takes each time. And again, you can choose your favorite take by clicking on it or hitting the T key. Now, when you're happy with the best take, just hit that keyboard shortcut to crop to the active take. And it just keeps the take we want. And it's also going to work with looping. Let's go to the options menu and turn off loop points linked to time selection. And now we can create a loop point up here from bar one to bar four. So now it's going to loop in that section and keep punching in for our second chord based on our time selection. Turn on looping right down here. Let's give that a shot. So created a different take for each loop. And again, we could switch it by clicking or the T key and then crop to the best take. But there's one problem with this method. We can only punch in once because you can only create one time selection. But let's say you wanted to punch in the second chord and the fourth chord. We could do that with the third mode. Let's undo all this and go to the Options menu and choose Record Mode, Auto Punch, Selected Items. And again, we could do it in the Transport right here. And it changes the Record button to look like this. Item Record. So that's going to punch in based on selected items. So let's split this item. Hit S. Create some splits for each chord. And then we could select the second chord and the fourth chord, and it's just going to punch in for both of them. So it's going to play here, punch in, punch out, punch in, and punch out again. So we can fix these two chords in one pass. Let's give it a shot. And again, it creates takes if you want them. If you don't, choose the option over here called Tape Mode. And in that mode, it's just going to replace our punches rather than creating takes. Or we could put it back to the default if you want takes. And once again, we could do this with looping. So let's create loop points from bar one to bar five and do the same thing. Once again, it created a different take for every loop, which we can switch together or separately just by selecting one at a time. Maybe we like this one and this one. Select them all and crop to the active take. And now we just have the takes we prefer. Now, when we're doing this, you don't have to be perfect on your punches because Reaper's always recording at all times. So we could zoom in and fix our punches right here, earlier or later, or create some crossfades for the punches, 
hold down shift to readjust them. So we don't have to make our time selections or the item splits perfect. We could always fix them later. But anyway, that's the recording modes or the punching in modes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use them, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.